Hello friends, imagine that in our world, children are born half animal or the entire population has to live in one huge bunker. And what if there's only one man left in the world? All this is in the top 10 best post-apocalyptic series. 10th place, Snowpiercer. Watch on Netflix. In the near future, a man-made disaster has left the Earth covered in snow and ice. Life is saved only in a giant train that races around the planet without stopping. The first cars are occupied by the rich and the last ones by beggars. They sketch a world and the series turns out into a full-fledged social dystopia. It's a detective story about a series of murders. The plot of Snowpiercer is based on the post-apocalyptic graphic novel of the same name. In 2013, this comic book was adapted into a full-length movie with Hollywood stars. It was directed by Bong Joon-ho, known for his Parasite movie. The film grew into a full-fledged series, and the creators did not mind this this legacy. The project has been extended for a fourth season, so the journey around the Earth continues. Ninth place, The Rain. Watch on Netflix. A deadly rain has wiped out almost everything on Earth. A tech corporation worker managed to hide his son and daughter in a protected bunker. Six years later, the children come to the surface and go in search of their father. On their way, the siblings will have to face a completely new world. The Rain is a youth fiction where the threat of death only intensifies the emotional impact of the plot and makes the dramatic events more intense. The Danish project aired on Netflix for three seasons. 8th place, Sweet Tooth, watch on Netflix. I need to find them. The Earth has been hit by a strain of an unknown virus. And along with the virus, little children are mutated and are now born half human, half animal. Gus, a charming hybrid with deer antlers, was hidden away from the dangers of the world by his father. But after his death, the boy has to discover the reality outside his hiding place. People are hunting hybrids, blaming them for all the troubles. Sweet Tooth is a cozy, picturesque, and slightly naive version of the post apocalypse. It is an adaptation of Jeff Lemire's comic book. So far, three seasons have been released, and the fourth is expected in the future. This is a rare case of post-apocalypse that will be interesting to watch for the whole family. Seventh place, The Stand. Watch on Paramount+. Plus. Now a blank page. It is there. The world is divided into good and evil, with nothing in between. The light forces have gathered in the commune of the centenarian Mother Abigail in Boulder, Colorado. The opposing forces have settled in Las Vegas. Their leader, Randall Flagg, wants to plunge the world into darkness. One day, a group of lights have to visit the docks to put an end to the confrontation. The Stand is not a film adaptation of Stephen King's novel. Unfortunately, it's a good one. The King of Trillis wrote a story about a super flu that wiped out 99% of the world's population. The writer did not intend to create a book about the post-apocalyptic world, but rather wanted to make an epic like The Lord of the Rings, but based on modern stuff. The project perfectly depicts the world after a global tragedy where all standards have been forgotten. We should also mention the cast, which includes Whoopi Goldberg, Alexander Skarsgård and James Marsden. Sixth place, Into the Badlands, watch on Netflix. In a world destroyed after several wars, the cruel barons who have divided their areas of influence rule. The most dangerous and experienced warrior, Sonny, met a mysterious teenager. To understand the boy's past and the origin of his unusual abilities, they will have to cross the desert of death. Into the Badlands is described as a post-apocalyptic martial arts TV series, based on the classic Chinese fairy tale, Journey to the West. To the story of a dark and cruel world, a lot of martial arts in the 80s and 90s movie style were added. The result is a great action show lasting for three seasons. It's perfect for action fans who are tired of wandering deserted streets. Fifth place, Silo, watch on Apple TV+. Plus. Some mysteries. They're best left. 
in a toxic dystopian future. The last humans live in a giant bunker hundreds of floors underground. As all resources are limited, couples can only have children with special permission from the mayor's office. Over the hundreds of years of this place's existence, certain social groups have been formed, although everyone is equal under the law. The skeptical Allison meets a computer specialist, George, and together they discover the better truth about their home. Silo is an adaptation of the eponymous book by Hugh Hobie. The series stars Rebecca Ferguson, who is also one of the executive producers. This is a true Apple TV Plus flagship that was immediately renewed for a second season. It looks like we're going to discover more than one secret of the huge bunker. Fourth place, The Hundred. Watch on Netflix. We're not alone. After a global nuclear disaster, people were forced to leave the Earth, and now they live in a space station orbiting the Earth. The leaders of the colony decide to send a group of young criminals to Earth to see if humanity can return to their homeland. The young protagonists start affairs, figure out who's the coolest, and encounter Earth tribes and animals that have evolved into something incredible. The Hundreds successfully aired on the CW for seven years, remaining a soap opera in a science fiction shell. But don't let the genre scare you. This is a really exciting show about teenagers, which is difficult to tear yourself away from even as an adult. The show has stood the test of time and is still able to draw you into its unique world. Third place, The Last of Us. Watch on Max. You trust me? The world is shaken by a global catastrophe. It was caused by cordyceps, a dangerous fungus that paralyzes the victim's nervous system and turns them into an aggressive and out of control creature that sees poorly but hears well and retains the remnants of intelligence. Soon enough, the victims turn into zombies whose bodies are eaten by fungal spores. The Last of Us is a classic zombie apocalypse movie that is done at an impeccable level. The emotional core of the series is the relationship between Joel and Ellie. He is a man wounded by bullets and life who lost his daughter. The girl died in his arms. She is an orphan who does not even know what it is like to have parents and live in a family. She has been her own mother and father since childhood. Second place, The Last Man on Earth. Watch on Netflix. Who says the apocalypse can't be fun? After all, the absence of people around opens up so many possibilities. Phil Nella crushes beer cans with a paver, smashes aquariums with bowling balls and gets drunk every night. But by the third month, it's not much fun for him and even his imaginary friends can help. Phil embarks on a journey across America. The last man on Earth is, first of all, a very interesting concept that generates a lot of funny episodes. The protagonist Phil is the least concerned about the reasons for what happens. He's in no hurry to take care of the future, but simply takes from the present everything he was lacking before he became the last hope of Earth. First place, The Walking Dead. Watch on Netflix. If you want to survive, you got to fight me. During the zombie apocalypse, the last survivors have to unite and help each other. However, it is often not zombies, but other people who are the most dangerous enemies. The Walking Dead is a legendary project that everyone who makes something about the zombie apocalypse is guided by. And yet, this story is not just a thriller or an action movie, it is a full-fledged drama about human relationships in difficult circumstances. Due to the huge fan base, the show has grown into a huge franchise. Set in the same world, new projects appear every year. I hope that we will see a green future only in TV series. Write in the comments, in which world of the series would you be most afraid to find yourself in? And in which would you be able to live without any problems? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel.